right down here next to the water. So the canal and uh, getting after it. I You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday the 8th. Previously, we went and chopped some some corn and uh, played in the mud. We got back. Appreciate Brian and his crew. Um, had a good time there. Calves are doing good. So I thought we got about an inch, inch and a half. When I got back last night, I checked the rain gauge and I dumped this out before we left. We got close to three inches of rain in the 48 hours that I was away. And uh, yeah, it is ground saturated. We don't need that rain. So hopefully this week we got some good weather, they're saying. Nothing like last week where we were in the 80s. And uh, if we listen carefully, we can hear Isaiah over the hill. This morning he came down the hill, headed over to the neighboring farm, and they're chopping corn in what he described to me as the worst mud he has been in. So that's less than ideal. As far as us, we got caught up this morning. Um, appreciate everybody who's done Carhartt orders, pre-orders. Um, takes quite a bit of work. Can't go chasing the hawk. So <laughs> you'll have that. So DuffyAg.com till the 21st. Um, came home to an order. Dave Bazarian, who has driven truck for me before. When I was looking for a filter, the top filter for this, he said, hey, check Amazon. Sure enough, they had one in stock on Amazon. It's the right Wix filter. So I'm gonna pop that off and we're gonna take this. We got some trucking to do. Not in this truck, because of uh, some of the water issues, but we're using this as our daily commuter. As of right now, we're just going up to Aaron's. We're gonna jump in another truck. Do something different that we haven't done at all. We've never been part of so something that I'd like to do one day um, and I'll talk more about that later on But let me pop that cover off and th switch filters out Then we'll have all new filters on this truck as far as air and uh, as far as the rest of the filters They're they got changed last year. They don't have many hours on them at all The new filter um, Just got to take these cover bolts off which don't take very much You loosen them up and turn the hold down pieces. And some of them are actually missing the hold down pieces, so. But the old girl's been running good otherwise. Slight things. Be like a brand new truck come next year. All sorts of stuff. We do gotta fix some oil leaks that is on our list. What I was actually planning to do today was get my pickup back together. And we'll see how much time we got in the day. Maybe I'll do that tonight. But that's my next on the list. As far as the Kedworth, you all saw we worked on that. You're all liked and subscribe or liking and subscribing to the channel so you see every video, right? But yeah, once. This week might consist of some trucking, um, but we got a lot of wrenching to do to get things ready. Pop that off. Is it the same one? It should be the same one, right? Where's the number? It's on the other side. There we go. 42635, 42635. As we know, these filters have been on there way longer. Um, but somebody did take good care of it, so that was an 11. But that should help it breathe. So the bottom filter actually goes into the turbo. The top filter goes into the twin tip turbine because these are twin, twi t twin tip turbine motors. So. That should allow it to breathe a little better. 
We're gonna get all our stuff loaded up and go switch trucks. Yeah, she's getting put back together. She's got some new lights in her. So if you don't know, Chopper and Superliner made contact um, pre-corn season and that's why the fender, front of the fender was a little goodbye. Um, they did move the light over, which is good. We're in a better, in a better spot there. So some fiberglass work. And back she goes. Good as new. There is a another hood for it, which they found in the bushes, which is a that's a hell of a deal. The decals on it is sweet too. The scheme. So that is here in case they ever need it. Um, but that's what happened with the superliner. I know Isaiah said it before in some videos, and people have still asked. So she won't be one-eyed anymore. Did they put the lights on both sides? Oh, they haven't done that. Ground that light. She needs a little bath, but you know, we're running. So them guys are running this morning and uh, it's a muddy mess. They're gonna get that job done and uh, get on to the next one, which we got some long runs. The G-Mac, which is the granite map, is back after almost a month of being down. And it was, they were waiting on a fan update kit and then once that came in that came in pretty quickly then the fan itself was different and they didn't order that and that was a two-week delay so it's back we're gonna go around that it's got the floaters and uh see how far we get so here we go combine head corn head and a big x v12 so we'll see what's going on this is the first try of it he's got a kumo adapt kuma which makes awesome parts adapter on it like i've said before i have an adapter plate i don't know if it got scrapped or what happened my brother can't find it so i'm hoping it shows up and he's got an eight row head on it and he used to have uh he had a deer 6910 or something like that and i asked him i said is it consistent when you get into poor quality and that's the hardest part so maybe at some point we'll do some snaplage not for ourselves but give us some opportunity but he's gonna get going there's another truck coming behind us and the carts coming so I think they finished up where they were so what what the purpose of this head is it this is the same combine head as me um, and what it is it's taking just the ears and they're sending it through the chopper so it's making snaplage is what it's called um, and when you have enough corn silage Instead of doing high moisture corn, well, you can do high moisture corn or you can do snaplage. It depends on it, um, how you're laid out. If you got a chopper and not a combine, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Um, we're going to see some high moisture corn too, and then you send it through the grinder bagger. If you got a bunk space, then it works out. So, but you need an adapter to go from a corn head, such as this corn head here, to a combine head. And uh, there's some water here. He did tell me that at his place up the road, he got four inches of rain and another guy got five. So it's pretty wet. Well, we went right into a wet hole. Probably didn't help us any. That is pretty wet right there. We're just gonna...
since the cart is coming this way, Isaiah said they're coming this way too because we're chopping further up on these. This is the river flats. Um, so hopefully we don't find some more mud like that. But I'm sure we're gonna. Dude, I got the AC on for you. There you go. All worked up. He's rode around in the truck a lot. Once we get. He'll be happy when we get in a combine and he can chase things again and whatnot. But what we were talking about and what we've... A lot of people, you got to be able to feed that machine to keep the consistent product. And good corn, it's great um, as far as ears of corn. But if you get into some smaller stuff, then it makes it a lot more challenging. Lighter stuff um, to keep the product all the same. We're into it, and we haven't really seen a crone since last year when we talked and chopped with James Galusha. And I was hoping we would get out to do some chopping with James. They needed some extra trucks, but we've been so busy that we haven't gone out there. And he's in the same boat where they're running dump carts a lot, and they're busy. I think his father, when he talked to me, he had a month of work plus then plus more if I wanted it. But I'm staying pretty busy where I am. We'll have to go see those guys at some point. Yeah, we're right down here next to the water. So, the canal. And, uh, getting after it. I got Dylan behind me, so at some point we're going to switch. I haven't opened up. We haven't made it all the way around the field. And it actually... There's some spots that really picked up. you got to remember the outside of these fields. Usually not the best yields. So, once we get rolling, then... Should be good, but I got a little room in the front still, and then I'll we'll switch trucks. And Dylan will take us all the way out, hopefully, and fill it full, so then we can make it all the way. I guess the dump cart is coming to us, and that way he can keep the chopper moving while we're doing road running, because we got to go all the way up on the other side of the river. So we got to go back into town and then up. Um, so we got a little bit of road travel, but keep in mind then when we're moving that's a much more valuable product than just corn silage so it makes sense to truck it a longer distance so because of the grain content in it but we are coming out across the train tracks and uh yeah we're gonna watch the trains here it's not as bad because uh you can see both ways those other locations that we have crossed where we had people watching us um you couldn't see anything so chopper just went that way i could see isaiah going down the road so he's headed down to the other flats which is old, which is farmed by a different different farm and uh they're, they're gonna try giving it a go chopping with uh out the cart I'm gonna say the cart's probably gonna go to his place and uh, where he is and we'll keep running with trucks. It's slower, it's much slower going because it takes longer to fill. You can't run that machine that fast because if you do, you're losing corn. But, uh, I'll show you the product when we make it up to the farm. And we're gonna have quite a bit of trucking to do from down there back up to where we're going. So we're actually going up to Gary Meads, where uh, we trucked, we ran the dump cart, the dump wagon, the smaller wagon, the Richardson wagon, and then we actually ran our truck, the Red Map, there for a day, and we battled back and forth between it, through the mud and through the drier ground, so go back, watch that video if you haven't, I'll drop it down below, but we're bringing it up to him. Um, since it makes a lot of sense, we filled his corn silage bunk with enough feed to supply for him for corn silage. And he had this ground, so it's going into snaplage. Um, so then he doesn't have to pay a grain bill as much, really, is what it comes down to. Um, so, but it's always, if you got extra feed, it's always good to utilize it. Yes, we could have trucked silage up the hill, but that would have been... Uh, Take 
lap, you can't swing that lap. And, uh, it ain't the worst thing, but you gotta go down and around. You can go straight across. I feel like this body's got a lot of lean to it right now. Show you the product because uh Yanko, where are you going? He's leaving. Leaving us. That is the product. Mostly kernels, a little bit of cob, but you see it's all broken up, so some roughage and some leaves. So that will make some good cow chow and a piece of stick. That I must have picked up. And we're headed back for another one. I liked how that stuff looked. I'm not a nutritionist, but that stuff looks like it's very consistent. We definitely cannot load this box all the way full because that's heavy. And uh, like extremely heavy. Chopper sitting there, but dump cart's here, so hopefully we can keep the trucks running. Dump cart can just feed us, because um, as we drive around the field, it takes time. And if we can just be road running instead, we keep things moving. So, dump cart coming in real handy. Hopefully we keep that, and Isaiah doesn't go over there and need it. I don't know what trucks are running over with Isaiah, or if they're chopping right around the farm. I don't know. Well, the cart's taking off some of the pressure, but then there's a gap in between. So the cart's actually dumping into the truck, the other truck, because we got caught up together because I took the load off the cart and the other tr truck was chopping. So we're actually having a third truck probably going to do us good. Um, it's better if we do some sitting than if that does some sitting. Because when that does sitting, it gets expensive and nothing's moving. Um, then it makes for a long, long day. So we're back. As you see, it's taller stocks and everything else like that. So stuff does drag on the trucks. Uh, yeah. So cruising along, and as you see, so if you don't know what a combine head does, it pulls just the ear off. So you can see down below, it's pulling the whole stock through and shredding the stock a little bit. That's not a chopper head as far as spinning around, chopping any debris left. Um, that's actually the same head as what I have. Um, actually, it might be a little bit newer. I think it's a little bit newer. Mine just has poly upgrades. So eight. I think that's an 893. I'm not really sure actually. I did read it. So it's pulling pulling the stock down through as he's going past and the rollers are pulling the ear off the actual stock. And then the auger is moving it across and feeding it into the feeder house there on I believe the Kuma 
um, adapter plate, it's got a helper that just helps feed it in so it feeds better. Um, and then it just chops it like a regular chopper. So runs it through the kernel processor, breaks everything down, cob is crushed, so it broke up. Been very good actually. Now that we, we're into running next to the trucks, ground speed is about five miles an hour. You can't go much faster um, pushing the heads because uh, they're they're meant to combine. They're not they're not really meant to uh, high speed. So this is an 893. I think mine's an 843 for some reason. I don't even know. But this is came as a poly head, I believe. It might have been updated. I don't know. But same row spacing, same size. So we'll see some differences throughout it. And then that's what's going on behind me. So looking pretty good. So we're on 5S here, headed back to the field, and actually the field is right across the throughway and then across the river. So right over there is where we're actually going. But you gotta go up and then come back down. That is why slower progress. I don't know if the third truck's here yet or not. But me, Dylan, and Dale between the dump cart, dump the loads, we're, we're keeping the chopper busy-ish. Um, could, uh, yeah, one more truck would be right on the money. So, it is kind of overcast, which is weird. Well, it's fall weather, I guess. But, yeah. Hopefully no more rain, because I guess the the other crew, they're back battling in the mud. So they're running four tractors and wagons, uh, the self unload wagons that we ran previously and we watched run. So that's what they're running because 0% chance of getting trucks in right now. So and we're, we're using the dump cart over here. But they're a couple miles down the road from where we are right now. We are all finished up, even stopped. Got some Digert lemonade. Yanko is revved up. Got some Taco 29, so I'm working on a taco and uh, waiting on the ride home. So we'll see you on the next one. Well, probably going to put all these videos together because short day. So get some more action. Should get the drone out. We'll see what tomorrow brings.